Today we're bringing you another exquisite mechanism for your mental library of mechanisms. The rack and pinion linear slide passive lock mechanism. Now it's important that we understand all these different mechanisms and we remember them, we store them in our mental library so that we can become the best mechanical design engineers that we can possibly be. So let's take a step by step. We have a rack and pinion. As you can see the rack and pinion there. We're gonna slide it in. The materials on the end are low coefficient of friction material, UHMW, that's what it appears to be, which will allow you to slide it up and down. And this also appears to be UHMW. There's a little pin on the inside, that's important. And by all means, if I'm talking too slow, you can feel free to fast forward or speed up the video to 1.5 speed. All right, so as the linear, as the rack and pinion goes, that pin on the inside there will encounter this ramp. And when it encounters the ramp, it'll come in contact with that face and it'll push the ramp down. And there's a spring, as you can see in there. We call this a passive lock you're about to witness. So bam, it comes in contact. It pushes the ramp down. See if you can hear it. Okay, not a lot of sound there. But the ramp is being pushed down. The pin comes in contact with the end of the sheet metal, which prevents the pin from keep going, which stops the whole translational movement to the right. And now you need a minimum force greater than just the frictional force between the ramp and the pin. Those two surfaces come in contact with each other, the pin and the ramp. You need to push it past um, to overcome that force, that frictional force. I'm going to keep pushing, 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 overcame it. Let's do it again. I'm going to hold on to this with my left hand, clamp this right side with my right hand, and I'm going to put force in the left direction. One, two, three, four, boom, finally overcame it. So what's happening there is there's the pin. That's right. I'm going to do the CAD model for you in a second so you can see it. The pin is right here to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. And as you keep going, it's going to overcome that friction. It's going to push it down and it's going to allow it to slide to the left again. So in essence, that's the mechanism. If you like what you hear so far, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe. Now I'm going to show you the CAD. So here we have the mechanism. As you can see, it slides from left to right. The UHMW over here, the pen, the sheet metal, and we have this this little box that I made in red. And let's focus on the pink for a second. This is the ramp that's going to go up and down because of that compression spring that's in here. And the compression spring is not coming out because it's in there. All right, let's show the spring again. And a key thing about this mechanism is this face is going to be what's limit, limiting the ramp from going higher. And this face is what's going to limit the ramp from going lower. So that's key to remember. And let me show you the mechanism. It's going to be always, the spring is always going to be expanded. It's going to want to expand. And as this moves to the right, let me make it transparent so you can see what's going on behind the scenes. The pin will engage with the ramp, and that friction is going to cause the ramp to slowly start moving to moving to the bottom. And as soon as the pin comes to this side, the spring is going to make the ramp pop right back up again, and that's a passive lock. Then we have to put the force. There's a friction force it's going to come in contact with, and to overcome it, we have to keep on pushing, pushing, and all of a sudden. It's going to come to the left. So in essence, that's how the mechanism works. If you want this file, I think I figured a way to share this file publicly. We have it in our, in our Dropbox directory. So I'm going to share that in the description of the video. Please leave me a comment and let me know if you were able to download the file. I want to provide you guys with as much content as possible so you can continue to learn. We can all learn together. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share on social media so we can grow this channel. 
the more views the more likes and subscriptions we have the more content we're gonna share and what mechanism would you like for us to cover next looking forward to reading your comments this is Rafael Testai see you soon